I'm really in. I'm really in. <laughs> What's up, papers? We'll stop you. We was like an inch on the ground. Like that's pathetic, Jake. You suck. I know I do. Just shut up. <laughs> so, uh, the topic to this video is how to be a good motor vlogger. Why am I doing that topic? Well, I don't know. Cause maybe I'm asked every four fucking seconds, and I don't know if I want to tell you. Why should I tell you my fucking secrets? I want you knowing that shit. Look at all these birds, I can scare them. I can say, this is how you be a good moto vlogger. You scare the birds. <laughs> oh, there's more. Look at them, look at them on the roofs. Oh my God. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Keep going from roof to roof. Oh, bitches! My bitch is mobile. Fear the wrath of my bike. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck have I done? Big bike's a bird whisperer, man. It's like a bird screamer, like, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh god, I wanna go back. Should I go back and do it again? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, that's how you be a good moto vlogger. You entertain people. There it is, the end. You fucking, you know? Shit's pretty damn simple, I would think. Me recognize this bit of road from this message. Hi, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> Intro I have done right there. Just like that. Um. So how do you pick another vlogger? I don't know. Just, pff, fallout's fells. Just do a wheelie. Um, that's that's what I get a lot of. Is people say, you know, what's good advice, Jake? What should I do to be a good motor vlogger? I'm like, you just shouldn't. Just quit. I don't like competition. I want to be the only one. No. Um, well, first of all, you need a fucking bike. There's so many people that like want advice and they don't even own a bike yet. It's like, they also have people that want shout outs who don't even have videos. And even if you do have videos, I don't, no, don't. I don't do shout outs. Like, I'm not going to. If your video's badass, maybe I'll mention it if it just happens to be good enough, but if you ask for it, I don't care if it's crazy in the world. Don't, just don't ask. That's like that's like etiquette there. You just shouldn't, you know? Might end up on my Facebook if it's really good or something else. Blah, 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 blah. I have said this, just a quick sidetrack. If you make a fucking uh, a reply to one of my videos, and it's a legit reply, not something retarded, it, I will accept it. I don't even care if it's a previous made video. If it happens to be related, I'll accept it. But just stop sending me fucking video replies that have nothing to do with the video just because you're trying to get, uh, um, you're trying to get views. Come on, man. That's like, that's not cool. That's just stupid. I'm gonna quit accepting them. I've accepted a lot of pretty dumb ones. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Make uh, something valid, and you that you know, it's a good way to get some looks. But anyways, um, black food subject at hand. You know, you need all your shit. You need a fucking motorbike. I think you need to know how to ride it. I don't really agree with the, uh, I just bought a motorcycle. Let me start moto vlogging thing. I think that's fucking retarded. Like, and, and here's why. I know you're thinking, but I want to get to do motorcycling to moto vlog. I get you. I got you, bro. Okay. Here's, here. that sounded good. Made my dick off. And the, but like I said, when you first start to ride, you know, you need to, you, your hand, your, your body doesn't think, you know, throttle, brake, you know, you gotta like tell your hand, like, everything is a longer process until it's muscle memory. And that's just a fact, you know, I'm not trying to be rude. And I think you need all of your cognitive powers to do this shit. That might be second nature to so many I mean, here's an idea I had too for people who are just starting out. Like, like, if you want, what you could do, 
and then someone frown upon this, but I think it's not a half bad idea. I think not a bad thing to do would be, okay, record your ride, and then do voiceovers later, just while you're learning, you know? Someone, someone stick their nose up that and be like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, whatever, that's up to you. It's just an idea I had. But anyways, um, ah, oh, shit. So, get all your shit together. You know, I think you need to definitely have a full face shield helmet. I did mine out of a dirt bike for a while, a dirt bike helmet. And you can get away with it. They said a good full face shield. Get your shit set up good, first of all, too. Like, like set it up right, you know? So many people have, like, shitty set up videos. Like, and, and then they ask me, How, how'd you set up your mic? I mean, I can tell you, mine's with no screen behind the cheek pad right here, which shouldn't make any sense because it's resting up against this plastic piece. It should add a lot of noise. I'm sure that car knew I was turning in there. People are retarded. That's my biggest fear is like turning in somewhere. Somebody will like wreck into me. You know, another thing people ask me too, like even they, they're like, they ask me like, you know, how do I come up with like so many ideas and topics? And that might be something you need to figure out early on if you can do that, you know, like myself. I have more topics than I'll ever get around to. Um, they come to me faster than I can fucking make them. That's just the truth. Also, too, you know, something to think about is like, maybe before you even buy any equipment, before you invest any money, might not be a bad idea, you know, to see. squirrely coming up out of it. That's cool. Woo. You know, just ride around with your helmet on and talk. See if you can do it. See if you can hack a uh, uh, moto vlogging, you know? Just... Nothing wrong with doing a practice run. I did it. That's one of the things I did before I invested and bought a camera. See, a lot of people with... Jesus, you... Oh, man. Uh, some guy came by here and straightened all this up for me. Oh, I can tell he even did this. Like, the wind's blown this. You can tell he even, like... <laughs> Oh my god, bro, you were serious. You got a message on my Facebook said I went by your other place and straightened it up. I was like, really? <laughs> Put the drawers back. The drawers were all over the place. This was over there somewhere. And he's making... <laughs> it's the Girls Gone Wild CD. I don't even know where I threw this, but I remember throwing it somewhere. <laughs> Bro, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, dude. I kind of want to destroy it, but now I don't want to so much because he's made it so nice. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. All right. Um, so, come on, Jake. Think. Use your brain. So, you know, you know get, get, once you decide, though, you want to do all that shit, get appropriate equipment, set it up right before you start making your motor vlogs. Don't put videos out like, here's my first motor vlog, sorry the audio is so bad, I'll try to do better next time. Delete that shit, man. One of the things you really need to know, I think if you're going to do this shit correctly, is it's okay not to upload everything you make. In fact, <laughs> I remade this, it's like the second attempt now to make this video. And that's not all that uncommon for me to do. I don't have to do it so, so often. But I'd honestly say it's probably about one in three get remade. That's where I'm at with it, you know? And I didn't have that standard at first, but I do now. And um, if you do start motovlogging, you stick with it. I think you'll see.